Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover creating and configuring scorecards for Looker Studio. Scorecards are a great way to highlight key performance indicators or KPIs so you can quickly tell whether your efforts are successful or not against goals or benchmarks that you set or if you need to improve certain aspects to achieve success. So we'll click on add a chart and we'll choose scorecard. There are two types. You can choose one with compact numbers or you can just choose a general one. So we'll drag one here. And for this one, we'll use the metrics new user. We can use a comparison. You can choose something like the previous period or the previous year, especially if your website or your audience has a seasonality element to it. So we'll go to style. We'll change the font size in the label section here to 36 and add a border radius again to three. And then we'll just resize this and copy and paste. For this setup here, we'll change this metric to sessions. We'll create another one. We'll turn this one into engagement rate. And just my personal preference, I'm gonna change the decimal precision to one, just to clean that up a bit. And for the next scorecard, Let's turn this one into conversions. We're gonna to go to style and change the decimal precision so that it's a whole number. And for the last scorecard, we're going to create one for conversion rate. If you search for the metric, you won't find a conversion rate. So what we'll have to do is actually blend two scorecards that we have. So we'll calculate conversion rate dividing conversions by the number of sessions. So make sure you select conversions first, the number that'll be in your numerator of the fraction, and then select sessions, which will be your denominator. But when you select it, make sure you select control so that you can keep both selected at the same time. And once they're both highlighted, right click and go down to blend data. So now this will calculate your conversion rate and you can rename the metric as such and click on apply. And then we'll change the decimal precision to match the other percentage. Go back to setup and add a comparison date range for the previous year to match the other scorecards. If you have a metric where the increase is bad, then you can swap the colors. If you look at the setup for your scorecard, you can see that you also have the option for optional metrics. And it probably makes sense to group similar metrics for a single scorecard. So if we toggle this optional metrics on, click on add metrics then we can look for other metrics that involve sessions and here we can add engage sessions so when you're in the view mode you'll see this icon in the scorecard header for optional metrics so when you click on that optional metrics icon you can switch the scorecard from the default metric to and optional metrics and it'll update. If you click on the style tab in your properties for your scorecard, you can add conditional formatting. And this is great to indicate whether you're successful with your KPIs, your scorecard KPIs, or whether you need to improve on certain aspects. So if you click on add, then you can begin to create rules for this conditional formatting. 
For example, let's say we have a goal to achieve a conversion rate of 25%. And if it's above, then we'll indicate that the scorecard, the font will be green. So we'll set this for single color and then we'll begin to format our rule. And for the condition, we'll select greater than or equal to. The input value will say 0.25. And if there are any other rules that you'd like to add, you can use the OR condition or the AND condition to create another rule. For color and style, we're going to select the font color and we'll choose to set it to this green. You can also change the background color if you like. We're going to save and add another for when the conversion rate falls below 25%. We'll keep it on single color and this time for the condition, we're going to choose less than 0.25 and for the font we'll change this to red and then we'll click on save so now we can see the font has been changed to green since it's above 25 percent but if we select a date range where the conversion rate is below 25% we'll see what happens we'll apply the last 30 days for the date range and it updates to a red 0% you can also choose to manage the rules that you created you can edit them or delete them or add another rule here we're going to delete these two and create a new rule using the color scale for the color type. And here you can see the color ranges. You can set the various colors, but we'll keep these colors for these different points, these different data points. And for the first number, we'll say zero. For the middle, point one, two, five as a midway point between zero and 25%. But you can only apply this to the background color. They may change that in the future, but for now, it's only the background color. So let's save this and we'll go back to our report. Let's change the date range to last month. When we do that, when we apply, then we can see that our scorecard updates to green. But of course, you can't see the comparison, so you have to change the color of the comparison date range. And you can do that under the comparison metric section. So for the positive color change, you may want to select a color that can be seen in all of the background colors so you may just have to change it to black same with the decrease comparison because we have conditional formatting that includes both a green background and a red background as well as a yellow background you have the option to show the absolute change and the option to hide the comparison label so this indicates what kind of comparison it is if there's missing data you can choose what you want to display with these different options here and then for the labels you can change the font color if you wish you can hide the metric name but it's good to keep it so the viewers can know what they're looking at and you can also change the alignment of the metric name, value, or the comparison. But we'll just keep everything aligned to the left. So those are the key settings that you need to know for your scorecards. So if you found this useful, please like, comment, subscribe, 
And if you want more content on digital analytics, including tracking, reporting, analysis, we'll see you in the next episode.